Everybody, video here for you today. I think this is an important one to include in my Ancient America series. Those of you who have read Graham Hancock's America Before are familiar with this site. It's called Blackwater Draw. And here is the site, Blackwater Draw, locality number one. This has had a few different names to it, but here is where the research went on. This place was first researched about 80, 90 years ago, right down here. Here is a site down on Google Earth. I believe this is a gate into the research area, or it looks like there's even a home back here. Not sure what the signage says, but I'm assuming this is the way in. This place was discovered in 1929. The Smithsonian sent a representative, Charles Gilmore, out to this site. It was determined that this site didn't merit further attention, but a gentleman from the University of Pennsylvania named Edgar B. Howard disagreed. Then starting in 1932, the site was investigated pretty thoroughly. Here is a look at the site being excavated in the 1930s. They found evidence of the Clovis here. Based on projectile points, they found evidence of extinct megafauna. Columbian mammoth, camel, horse, bison, saber-toothed cat, and dire wolf. And let me just read here from a little bit of uh, Graham Hancock's America Before. It says, in, in 1935, on the basis of these finds, Howard published a book in which he concluded that it was possible that humans had been in North America for tens of thousands of years. Further seasons of meticulous fieldwork followed before he presented his findings to widespread approbation and acceptance at a prestigious international forum on early man and the origins of the human race held in Philadelphia on March 18th through 20th, 1937. So much history is buried beneath our feet, but this is one of the sites where it kind of became exposed. And back when the megafauna were here, let me just back out a little, but you can kind of tell here, this was part of an ancient dried up riverway. You can see it coming right through here. And back when the megafauna were here, it was a lot wetter here. It wasn't the arid kind of desert climate it is today, that is for sure. There is a Blackwater Draw Museum in the city of Portales nearby, and I believe they have recreated what was found at Blackwater Draw, but, but a very distinct layer when history on this planet totally changed was found there. And it's a good thing that that Edgar Howard realized how important this site was because right after it was discovered, the Smithsonian sent somebody out and it was determined that the site didn't merit any more study. But Edgar Howard's research kind of overchanged that, so that's a pretty important point in American archaeology, that is for sure. After Edgar Howard did his investigation here, some of the best archaeologists around also looked at the site. It was investigated for about 53 years or so, and then in 1978, Eastern New Mexico University purchased the site and has an on-site interpretive center at the site, and I believe they also run the Blackwater Draw Museum. Now, I'm not sure if this is the interpretive center right here, but it said in that article from 2019, investigations are ongoing at Blackwater Draw, and this kind of looks like an area that they might be covering up where they are doing some present research right there. But there is one area here, I'm just not sure what is going on. Just a little bit to the north, can anybody explain can anybody explain that not sure what that is and I don't really care too much it just caught my eye as being pretty cool looking here's a website I will leave below Blackwater Draw this site is near Clovis New Mexico and it's how the culture gets its name but here are some Clovis points found at the site there was other periods of history found here but these Clovis points the oldest period and this was named to the National Register of Historic Places in October of 1966. Here's an article from the archaeologicalconservancy.org. How were the Americas colonized? The Clovis first model appears to be dead but experts are struggling to fashion a more convincing colonization model from the latest evidence and this is just ongoing research. This is the Mana Verde site in Chile and they said this could be more than 18,000 years old and with new DNA evidence that people came from South America up to North America in some cases, that has kind of changed the way people think, but Blackwater Draw is mentioned in this article here. Here is a look at Blackwater Draw from that article. It also talks about sites that predate the Clovis in North and South America. 
Now I want to go back to Graham Hancock's America Before, and he talks about a paper published in 2017 on platinum levels and other impact proxies at some sites on a, across North America. It says the project began by testing soil samples from Arlington Canyon, Murray Springs, Blackwater Draw, and Sheridan Cave, and that is in Ohio. I did a video on that place about four months ago. Four sites with particularly well-defined and well-dated younger driest boundary age sediments containing peaks in younger driest boundary related impact proxies. It says what the test revealed was a large level of above background platinum anomalies at each site. And it says an abundance of peaks in younger driest boundary proxies including microspherals, milk glass, and nano diamonds. So I think we can all agree that something pretty bad happened over 12,000 years ago, maybe a couple times. But what exactly happened? I think we should all just agree that something super bad happened and not argue so much on what happened. But just accept that something did, and this is one of the sites that kind of proves it. Here is a website I will leave below, but here is the different years and the different people who are out investigating this site. Here is layering of the site, and they have a little chart here of what was found in the different stratigraphic layers. But here you have a chart going back to 13,000 BC and they match it up with that pick here. And it says not only is the Clovis found here, but Folsom points that go back 10,400 years. Plano points that go back 8,500 to 4,900 years. And archaic projectile points that go back 4,500 years ago to the recent times. But it lists the different strata where each of those artifacts were found coming from different time periods. They also have a chart here noting the megafauna that were found here, Columbian mammoth, camel, ground sloth, dire wolf, short-faced bear, saber-toothed cat, horse, ancient bison. And some of these come, the modern bison, come from a little more modern time period, but many periods of history here. Seems people lived here for many thousands of years. And some of these megafauna, there is not one piece of evidence that these were ever hunted by the Clovis culture. So. The whole thing that the Clovis culture wiped out all the megafauna, I think that is absurd to believe that theory. But it seems they were taking advantage of maybe some easy hunting sites in this place. It says here, it is clear that this desert region was much moister environment with a lake and water resources that supported conifers and Pleistocene megafauna. So maybe there was just easy hunting here and they took advantage, they took advantage of it whenever they could. I just think this is a very interesting subject to include in my Ancient America series. We had the Clovis and the megafauna really going extinct in a geological instant. Some of these mammals have been around for millions of years. What happened at this site? I think it's a pretty fascinating topic. That's why I've been talking about it for since 2012. We have different layering here, different artifacts coming from different time periods, thousands of years of occupation. We seem to have a layer coming from this site and many others impact proxies did a comet fragmented comet explode over a large portion of north america well that of course is a popular uh, theory or answer to this there's also been a few others but this is just showing the site not really going into that controversy too much but the clovis were here not many sites where we have the clovis and the megafauna existing at once and we're, we only have one Clovis burial ever found where the Clovis cremating their dead. I might go into that topic in a later video, but I think this is a very interesting site. We have a history going back here to the Ice Age, megafauna, people sharing the same space. It was a lot wetter back then. Maybe they were taking advantage of some easy kills back then, but certainly one I want to include in my Ancient America series. A lot of research has been conducted for many decades at this site, but when they did gravel quarrying here in the 1930s, I guess many Paleo-Indian camps were disrupted and kind of destroyed, making research almost impossible. I want to include that too. But that is a video on Blackwater Draw, one of the few sites where we have the Clovis and the megafauna existing at the same time. But the history here might go back 15,000 years, but people were certainly here from the Clovis culture around the time of the Younger Dryas boundary, 12,900 years ago. But that is near Clovis, New Mexico, right there. That's how that culture gets its name. That's one I want to include in my Ancient America series for sure. 
Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.